What's up, guys? So, we're going to be watching Hannibal Burrs today. Your prayers mean nothing. Hannibal Burrs, honestly, before I used to say I didn't like his stand up until I saw a few other videos. Because sometimes, I don't know, he's got that weird little tone where he just. Uh, and he always looks like he's high, but I'm not sure if he's just tired or if he's just, just, just his face. But. He's got that weird little tone. So sometimes, I don't know, like, I'm a very hype dude. Like, fuck it. I'm like, ah, like, fuck. So he's not like that. But some of his stand-up is just not for me, but his other shit's fucking hilarious. So we're going to check this one out, see what it's about. Fucking, yeah. And if you guys want to check him out, like I said, Hannibal Reverse. So see what this one's about. Hello. Keep it going for John Doerr, everybody. John Doerr. I don't get along with my teenage cousin at all. I think he's a bad person <laughs> and a piece of shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I hope he doesn't get in the car. <laughs> what the fuck? That's me. He always talks trash about my comedy. Hey, Hannibal, we were watching you stand up on Yalta. <laughs> it wasn't funny. <laughs> So I have to figure out what can I say back to this 17-year-old boy that'll destroy him because I'm not letting this slide. I'm petty yeah. as hell. And I figured it out. I just accused him of masturbating. <laughs> because teenagers can't handle that. Their psyches are weak. So I say, what, man? You coming from jagging off or something? No, with the jagging off at all. <laughs> Why would you say that? I do not jag off. I will never jag off. Get out of here, Hannibal. Why you want me to get out of here? So <laughs> that doesn't work on me. I'm 28. You say Hannibal. Were you jacking off? Yes. <laughs> yes, I was jacking off. I was jacking off so I can have sex for life. Yeah, yes. Later. All right. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. If y'all been fucking for a long time, you know damn well what he's talking about. Got to get one out of the fucking chamber. Yeah, yeah. I know what the fuck he's talking about. Shit. I still do that. Just in case. Like, if it's a new date, I mean... You want to you want to impress him? <laughs> Shit, I'm planning out my life. <laughs> Sometimes when I watch porn, I put my hoodie on so I feel. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's more fun that we all run around a little bit. Ah! You need a masturbation hoodie. Everybody needs one. Especially in summertime. That should get too hot. Warm, you got to keep your top warm. <laughs> because your bottom is exposed. <laughs> Life is all about balance. <laughs> yeah, jagging off joke took a philosophical <laughs> Whenever I eat out at restaurants, I never put the napkin in my lap. I never put the napkin in my lap. And people say, Hannibal, why don't you put the napkin in your lap? Because I believe in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in my ability to not spill food in my pants. Because I'm a goddamn adult. <laughs> and I've mastered the art of getting food from my plate to my mouth without soiling my jeans. You need to believe in yourself too and get your shit together. That's for babies. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. I get into arguments with, with taxi drivers all the time. And I get into arguments and I get, in, get out the cab and I slam the door. But that's not the way to win an argument with a taxi driver. The way to win is you get out the cab and you leave the door open. <laughs> oh, shit, that's smart. To get out, come around, and close the door. While he's doing that, I'm on the other side, opening the other door. <laughs> and we just keep going around and around and around. Uh, and I got my own Benny Hill situation going on. I won. Life is great. <laughs> Whenever people going through struggles in life, they get really cliche. They say stuff like, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know who else is? Everybody, because that's how time works. <laughs> that's the only way you can take time. What were you doing in a week at a time before? Who are you? And who taught you how to do that? Why don't you teach me how to do that? 
I want to get through this shit quick. <laughs> <laughs> People always say shit like, I'm going to pray for you. You gonna pray for me? So you gonna sit in your apartment and do nothing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what your prayers are. You sitting around and not taking action as I struggle with the situation. Don't pray for me. Make me a sandwich. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm really oh good. And I can't cook for myself. Well, we'll keep you in our thoughts. Or with the other bullshit in your head. No, keep me out of your thoughts. Because if you talk about what you think about, that sounds like horrible company. So please keep me and my family out of your thoughts unless you're thinking about making us sandwiches. <laughs> I used to live with my girl. Sometimes she would walk around our place mad. I wouldn't know why she was mad. She was just walking around upset. And I don't play those games, so I would just trip her. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what you were mad about before, but I definitely know you're mad about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> and maybe you'll open up about the other situation while you're putting ice on your knee. <laughs> I meet crazy women. I met this one girl at the bar. It's four in the morning. We have some drinks, go back to her place. We get there. She says, all right, don't try to hook up with me. Fuck. I don't try to hook up. You just brought me, a stranger, back to your place at four in the morning. What's your motivation? Because you couldn't possibly think I want to talk with you this long. <laughs> and she said, I would like to hook up, but I recently had no What the fuck? I said, well, do you want to have another Oh, shit. I didn't say that, but you know what? Fuck her for telling <laughs> me about that. What did I do to deserve that information as a stranger? <laughs> Where's your boundaries? You telling me this an hour into knowing you? I got good buddies that don't even know how many brothers and sisters I have. <laughs> and you telling me this so quickly when you could just say that you had your period and I would have left. Yep. I was like, whatever, girl. Just take that shit one day at a time. <laughs> and I pray for oh, you. Oh, shit. And keep you in my thoughts. Good night, y'all. Thanks a lot. I guess, I mean, he's got a point. I mean, if you're able to help somebody, why are you just going to pray? Fucking help him. Shit. I mean, so many good, I don't know. I'm not going to go get into the whole religious thing. Yeah. It pisses people off sometimes uh, when you talk about that. But that was fucking funny. All right. Like I said, sometimes he's like, he like brings the crowd down, then like picks it back up. It's like this weird tone, but I don't know. It was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, that girl didn't need it. How are you gonna tell? Why are you gonna bring him home after you just had an abortion? What the fuck, man? What kind of person are you? Shit. Maybe she just needed someone to talk to. Oh, that that might be it. I don't care. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Handle burst. Check them out. Um, click like, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you think.